doing? What do you mean, what am I doing? What are you doing? What are you gonna do? Are you trying to start something? How's it going, guys? Amagansett Press, and we are coming to you today from Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin. Uh, we are at the U.S. Post Office here in Chippewa Falls, and we're just going to pay a little visit on these folks here today and find out if they honor and respect our right to take video and photographs in public and from publicly accessible areas of public places. Um, I am out with watching the Watchmen today. And uh, let me give you a little view of the neighborhood here where we are. And while I'm doing that, time and temperature check. Today is Monday, June 6th, 2022. It is 3.40 p.m. And it is 73 degrees, sunny and absolutely beautiful in Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin. I uh, hope you all are having a good day out there. Hope you're doing something you love with some people you can tolerate. And I uh, hope you have some sunshine where you are. And if you don't, I invite you to make your own. Should be an interesting one here today, guys. Stand by. Hey, making out there, Watchman. What's going on? What's happening? So Chippewa Falls Post Office. Ready to take a look around? See what's going on? Um, down this way to the left here is their loading dock. Uh, employee parking, postal vehicle parking, all that kind of stuff. I think some public parking down there as well. And then there's some more parking down on this side. Uh, so as usual, those of you who uh, watch our videos and follow our channels know, we will be taking a look at the outside of the building, checking out all the uh, pertinent signage that's out, and uh, seeing how the folks of uh, Chippewa Falls are doing today. And then we will be going inside um, at some point and getting a stamp. And let me just make sure I have my dollar ready for my stamp here. I don't know if I have a single, nope, but I have a 20, so I'll get some change today. Stand by. Nice building. So here's a little information about the building for you. You can pause that and read the entire thing if you like. The Federal Building and Early Mail Service. Chippewa County Historical Society marker sign number 10. And uh, let's see. We always check for signage. Reserved parking for U.S. Postal Service vehicles only. Unauthorized vehicles will be towed away. And they're stating, citing California Vehicle Code in Wisconsin. Anybody knows why they do that, please let us know. And then this is a uh, public alley. We did our homework. We always look at uh, property maps. There's several ways of doing that online. And uh, this is a public alleyway that goes in between the two businesses on either side. One being the post office. Yeah, so as you can see, on this side of the building, there are no signs at all. And then here you have the same sign at this side. And then here's the parking lot. So as long as we're not parking in one of these spaces, we're good. Boards are for plug in your diesel heater thing? Probably, yep. Probably have to plug the vehicles in when it's that cold out, I'm sure. What do I know about diesel? So here's a U.S. mail truck, not unlike every other U.S. mail truck in the country. But uh, yeah, good observation there. They do have all the uh, extension cords out in all the spots. So I guess they're plugging these vehicles in at night. All right, now we have a sign here that says no parking. Unauthorized vehicles will be ticketed, towed at owner's expense. 
see what we have down here at the entrance to the driveway. Even the placement of signs really makes a difference, not only just what it says. Um, I'll give you a good example, this sign here. Here's the driveway. Let me give you a wide view here. So this is the driveway going through here. And uh, somebody might assume that this sign here that says postal vehicles only means that only postal vehicles can pull into that driveway. Uh, but it's not. If it was, it would be on this post facing out towards the street. The fact that it's facing the parking spaces leads me to believe it's for the parking spaces. Right. What are you guys doing? Sorry? What are you guys doing? What am I doing? Yeah. What are you doing? What do you mean what am I doing? What are you doing? I'm asking what That's are you a little doing? weird. No. Are you okay? Do you need help? No. You sure? Yeah, but you're on postal property filming. I'm asking what you're doing. Oh, okay. Well that was just a little weird what you just did. Yo, you sure you're okay? Yes. Can you I'm asking what are you guys doing? Is there any issue with filming on postal property? Um, it's postal property. You're not supposed to be. You're not supposed to take pictures on postal property? Correct. Just the postal employees or people from outside? I'm trying to be educated, ma'am. You're coming out and giving me directives. I'm trying to find out what the story is. I, I asked you what you were doing while you were taking pictures of our... Right, and I asked you, is there anything wrong with me doing that? All right, well, we'll see you inside. Very strange. Well, anyway, I'm just going to carry on with what I was doing here. That was an interesting, uh, huh? interesting little greeting we got from her, huh? So here's where you can obviously see the trucks come in. They drop their mail off, pick their mail up, do whatever they're doing. Um, no parking up here because they don't want you to block the uh, loading an unloading area. See what else is going on here. Don't be deterred by uh, strange behavior. It happens all the time. Here's their semi-loading area. There's nothing that says anything about it. you can't walk up here. So if there's no sign and there's no restricted area marked, then there is none. Even on the door here, it's key to access. So obviously I'm not going to try to go in the door. It's obviously employees only, but you can certainly walk up here. What if I had a uh, cigarette butt I needed to extinguish? Which I don't, because I like my lungs. So I guess there's really not much customer parking on their property. No, yeah, it looks like it's all pretty much marked postal vehicle parking. Yeah, all street parking. And, you know, I really don't understand that. Wouldn't like, I wasn't being rude or anything, was I? I mean, common sense, or am I doing something wrong? If I'm doing yeah. something wrong, tell me. She didn't want to answer that question because she knows damn well I'm not doing anything wrong. Yeah. Just doesn't want me to be there or wants to exercise her authority. And, yeah, uh, she didn't even try to ask us to leave. Yeah, she never asked us to leave. She just said that we're not supposed to be taking photographs on uh, postal property, which you all know is not the case. That's a point that's been proven at nauseum. Let's check out the doors and see what kind of signage we have on the doors. Maybe there's something on the door that says, you are not supposed to be taking pictures of this property. All right, so on this side, there are two entrances. We'll check out the other one in a second. Just the standard uh, stupidity signs, what I like to call it. If you need to be told that, uh, you know, I don't know what's wrong with you. Um, don't do that. Not a good idea. Some black text on a black background. Yeah. Window hours, 8.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday, 9 to noon on Saturday. And uh, they take most ATM and debit cards. And another ashtray. No, but in all seriousness, I don't, you know, I don't care. You want to smoke, knock yourself out. Smoke the good stuff. And uh, only thing I ask is put your butts in your pocket. Don't throw them around in the street. Littering's disgusting, no matter what it is. All right, so this door around the corner has no signage on it except for the hours and another ashtray
Got a VIP in town? I'm sorry? Got a VIP in town? I don't know, is there? You just like taking photos of post offices, I take it. Mm -hmm. Just like asking people what they're doing? Yeah, I do. You got a problem with that? I mean, seriously. Are you looking for a problem? Yeah, yeah. What are you going to do? What am I going to do about what? Are you trying to start something? Absolutely not. Seriously. I'm head? just asking a don't nice walk question up to me like you. Don't walk up to me like that. It's a bad idea. You seem to have attitudes. No, I don't. You seem Welcome to have an to attitude. Falls. You seem to have an attitude. So we did what yeah, just... Well, people that act like jerks. Yeah, that's very, uh, sub very subjective. You might want to take a look in the mirror one day. Why don't you act your right? It just don't get up in people's faces. You're going to do that to the wrong guy one day. You're too old. I, I, I'm the wrong guy, okay? You're too old. Trust me. Trust me. Trust Anytime. me. Just go back to your little Anytime. restaurant there and have a nice day. Anytime, buddy. Just go have a nice day. Anytime. Go enjoy your life. Adios. Toodaloo. Off you go. Carry on. Fair thought. Toodaloo, man. What is wrong with people? What so is seriously wrong with you? like that because you wouldn't tell them what you're doing? Well, that's, you know, people love to ask. That's the second person in a row. People love to ask questions in this town, but if you ask them a question back, they don't want to, uh, all of a sudden you have an attitude. They don't want to hear about it. It's amazing. But, uh, again, don't let that deter you. That guy will be out here harassing somebody else tomorrow. Anybody that's watching this, um, don't be that guy. You decide who was looking for a problem on that one, and don't be that guy. It's foolish. You know, these older dudes, um, myself included, should not be uh, confronting people on the street. Nobody should. But, you know, it's a full, you know, why, why put yourself in that position? Why look for problems? A couple guys out on the corner minding their own business with cameras is none of your business. Move on. And even if you're a younger guy, man, the air is much cleaner out here than it is in jail. Just behave yourself. And it's funny because to me, Watchman, guys like that, go get in his personal space. He'll be the first one to flip out on you. Yeah. So, never a good idea. Oh, here comes 5-0 down the street. Not sure if it's for, for us or not, but uh, I could only assume. Get you a close-up of a Chippewa Falls PD Cruiser. Keep in mind, folks, you have absolutely no right to demand answers out of anybody out on the street at any time for any reason, period. Most of the time, the police have no right to demand, sir, demand answers out of you. So who these people think they are, I have no idea. But uh, cut it out. It's silly. <laughs> oh my god, you weren't videoing, were you? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Oh, come on, that's why you did it. You can sign a release. Hey, just keep smiling, man. If you want to sign a release, you can. <laughs> no, I'm good. Have a good day, brother. Appreciate you. And for those of you who uh, are either too young or have forgotten, that's what's called a sense of humor. Highly recommend running right out to your nearest local sense of humor shop and Picking a couple up, in case you lose one. How's it going? <laughs> Not too bad. What are you guys getting on camera? Sorry? What are you guys, what are you guys like? Getting on, you right now. Yeah? <laughs> Whatever's in front of the lens. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was just wondering why you guys were videotaping over there. Oh, I got you. <laughs> what the heck? Well, have a good day, man. Yeah, you too.
see, I see no difference between that and me asking him what was inside that black garbage bag he just took into the post office. Yeah. No. What are you mailing? What do you mean, what am I mailing? None of your business. And I'm sure that's the answer I would have gotten. Yeah. The other point is you ask people what, people ask us what we're filming or you ask people what they're doing. I can make up whatever I want. And uh, that guy could make up whatever was in that bag that he wants. And what does the answer even really mean? What's the difference? How do you know the answer you just got's the fact? Somebody could walk up to me right now and say, what are you filming for? And I could say I'm a uh, location scout for Alec Baldwin's next movie. And they'll go, oh, oh, pretty cool. Wow, right on. When are they starting filming? Well, people believe anything you tell them. So what's the point of asking? What's really the point? Why are you really asking me what I'm doing? What's the real question? Back to the Future in Chippewa Falls. That's a cool car. It's a Dodge Dart. Very cool. What's that? Am against it. Press and Guilty watching the charged. watchman. Yes, sir. Gotta say hello. Wow. <laughs> wow. This is amazing. Never did I think I'd find you guys. That's awesome, man. Really appreciate you. Wow. Up in Chippewa, huh? Yes, sir. Wow. Yeah, yeah. I can't wait to see how they do. Yeah, well, so far it's a mixed bag, so we'll see. Did you go in yet? No. You haven't yet? I haven't yet, got huh? in yet, no. Wow, I can't believe I've seen you guys. No, that's I can't believe I'm seeing you. I appreciate you, man. Wow. Thank you so much. Wow. I hope you have no problems, but... Yeah, so do I. I always hope we have no problems, but, but you never know. But from what I've seen, you know... You never know. Right. Yeah. Wow, I can't believe you guys are up here in Chippewa. No, that's awesome, man. You made my day. I appreciate wow, you. Wow, that is amazing. I gotta go call my kids. No, thank you for stopping. Yeah, I subscribe. I follow you guys. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Thank you for the support. There was one... <laughs> God, you did one, you guys went into an office, it was like a health office, and these guys come in, the cops, of right. course, and I don't remember where it was, but I commented on it. Probably That might have been Nebraska. I don't know, the best audit I've ever seen in my entire life. Really? Yeah, you really? offered to buy them pizza. That was Nebraska. Was yeah. it Nebraska? Yeah. South Sioux City. South Sioux City, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. One more time. Thank you, sir. Appreciate well, good you. Good luck, guys. Have an awesome day. Can't wait to find out what goes on here. Right on. Well, it'll either be up tomorrow or the next day. Nice. Right on, man. Nice seeing you guys. Yeah, right back at you, brother. We have, uh, everywhere we go, we have supporters and we have people that want to throw us under a bridge. Look, he's trying to pick up the girls on his scooter. Yeah, really? <laughs> right on. What the hell are you doing with that? What's that? Are you taking, as they say down south, you're taking pictures? Taking pictures, yes sir. Have a good day. So uh, it's 4.35 in about 10 minutes at 4.45. We'll head inside, check out the inside of the post office for you. Make sure we have our poster seven hanging up and uh, see how that goes and get our, uh, of course, buy our stamp. Uh, for those of you who don't follow our channels and uh, haven't visited with us before, my wife, uh, affectionately known as Mrs. AP, um, I buy a uh, stamp and get a receipt in every post office we go to across the country. We have a lot of them. And uh, she's working on a scrapbook and uh, filling it full of memories. So um, pretty cool stuff. Be something for this guy right here one day to show his kids. Chippewa. So what's your uh, prediction, what she's going to say on the inside? I don't know. I was just saying, it could go either way. But I don't know. Based on the way she was acting back there, I don't have... Uh that high expectations. Well, the way I see it, she could continue her uh, her festival when we go in, or she made a phone call and was uh, advised of the situation. So, uh, chime in, guys. Chime in in the comments before we go inside. No cheating. Chime in now. Hit pause and uh, let us know what you think. Are they going to be cool when we go inside and uh, respect our right to film inside, or are they going to continue with the same uh, nonsense we were greeted with when we got here? So. I'll uh, look forward to checking out your comments. Ready here, Watchman? All right, guys, we're going in, so uh, get our stamp. Let me make sure I have my $20 ready. Watchman's going to go in that entrance, and I'm going to go in this entrance. 
got my stamp money and we'll see how it goes so wish me luck This is a cool old post office. A little dark in here, but pretty cool. And we do have our poster seven here. Which, uh, if you don't understand it, read it again. If you've never read it before, I suggest you do. So you have some uh, priority mail packaging here. Have your Post office boxes, package drop off, and some flat rate envelopes. Pretty cool. So here's some more shipping labels and supplies, and then you have some more shipping supplies here, gift cards. Hallmark cards. How you doing? So that answers that question. Very cool. Oh, and they have some stamps in here too. Uh, not particularly, but thanks for offering. Can I just get one stamp, please? One stamp, sure. Yes, sir. How's life treating you today, Chad? Oh, not too bad. It's good. It's... Okay, one uh, fifty-eight out of twenty. About ten minutes, you get to go home. Eh? Well, I'm here another till hour after the window closes, so it's not. Oh, what time's the window close? Five o'clock. Five, yeah, it's another 10 minutes. Oh, you're here after that, I got you. Yes. And can I get a printed receipt, please? Sure. Well, Thank it'll you. ask you to choose a receipt on the screen just to second. Gotcha. There's a close the card. So, one, two, three, four, five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Thank you, sir. And then you can choose the receipt there. Uh, let's see, print only. There's your receipt. You can show your experience about them and you have a very good day. Appreciate your help, Jack. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Have a good day. I guess I might as well go out this way. I came in the other way. You should, you should go out that way. Yeah, I'll go out that way. <laughs> I'll meet you outside. Well, all right, guys. I knew as soon as I went in there, first words out of Chad's, first word, single word out of Chad's mouth. How you doing? Um, they were, uh, the woman that came out and confronted us out in the parking lot, uh, went inside, made a phone call or spoke to somebody else. She might have even called the police. Might have called the postal inspectors, might have called her boss, uh, and was told that we are perfectly within our rights to do what we're doing and to leave us alone. Uh, that would be the reason she never came back out again, and that would be the reason Chad wasn't really all that talkative, uh, but he was courteous and professional and helpful, and uh, more than willing to sell us our stamp. So that's all you can ask for. Um, you know, I think she uh, was educated today, evidently. If she still thought she was right, she would have been in there hollering at us not to be in the lobby uh, taking pictures or video. Uh, which she didn't do. So uh, it's always good when somebody gets clued in on something and maybe that'll make it a little easier on the next guy who wants to take a picture out here at the post office. Um, 
There's really nothing wrong with it, I swear. Um, but that's it, so enough said on that. Always like to remind you guys before we take off that if you like our videos, you enjoy what we do and you wanna support what we do, best way you can do that hands down is to like, share, comment, subscribe. All that stuff gets our videos out to more and more people so that more people can watch them, enjoy them, and hopefully learn a little something. I know I'm out here with the Watchmen getting an education every day. Wouldn't change it for the world. Um, I also invite you to do the same for his channel. Kid puts a lot of work into his videos. I'm very proud of what he's doing, standing up for all of our rights. 18 years old, uh, he's proactive, he's mature, he does a great job. If you check him out on his channel, you hear his narration. He puts uh, information and maps and stuff in his videos you won't find here. So uh, if you're so inclined, check him out. Uh, link will be in the description, but that's it. So we're gonna hop in the truck, head down the road and see what else we could find for you here in Chippewa Falls. So for now, Coming to you from the Chippewa Falls Post Office in Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin, watching a watchman. I'm against it press. We'll catch you on the next one, guys. Out. <laughs>